Hi Gravitrax fans, welcome to Dollar Store Gravitrax Mods Edition, where we look for modifications that we can add to our Gravitrax. Today I've got this $5 basketball toy. Check this out. It's got lights, it's got sound. Pretty cool, huh? So I was thinking maybe we could modify this to go into our Gravitrax run. So let's try disassembling this and see what we can do with it. It's only got three screws, two on the top, one over the battery compartment. I've already uh, slipped the stickers and it's got the cap on the bottom and then it just comes right apart. So real easy to disassemble. All right, inside we've got on the top this globe thing just comes right off. There's the little basketball. And that's a pretty compact basketball hoop. It's got the little spring that makes a contact with the electrical circuit and sets off the cheering. I really like that. Let's take off the little springboard here. See, all there is to this is the, looks like the electronics are in the backboard. Then there's a speaker and battery compartment. So let's try setting up a little run here and see how this would work. See if it'll work with our Gravitrax marbles that are half inch in diameter. So I'm just going to put some tiles around it to... Keep it in place temporarily. We'll just set it up there. Yeah. And just use a little scoop to throw it in there. Yeah, the wires are kind of pulling on it. Let's see. Yeah, it'll, I think it'll stay there. Yeah, now we'll just put a little launch pad over here and uh, see if we can get this thing to work with Gravitrax. Let's check it out. Okay, so get the camera framed up. So let's see if we can trigger this thing. Huh, it went through but didn't trigger. Maybe the marble's too heavy. Yeah, it went through again. I don't know, maybe this thing isn't going to work. Yeah, it's the third time. This baseball, three strikes and you're out. Let's try putting it uh, maybe a little closer. Maybe it'll hit the back contacts. There we go. So it is possible. Hmm. But it didn't, obviously doesn't trigger all the time. Let me put it a little closer. There we go. It kind of depends on position. And again, it's just a $5 toy. Half the cost of any of the small Gravitrax extensions. So let's try slow-mo. I'm, I'm anticipating that we can get it to go, ha ha, which would be really cool in slow motion. I don't know. <laughs> that kind of sounds like a cow using a hair dryer. That's not really what I was hoping for. All right, well that's eighth speed. Let's try it at quarter speed and see if it sounds any better. Man, that still doesn't sound like a crowd that's uh, cheering. All right, let's try it at half speed. Yeah, that sounds a little better. No, maybe what we could do is, in the video, take it in slow-mo, and then once it goes through, yeah, 
Just make it full speed because this is the best sound. Definitely. And I love the lights, the blue and the red. But I want it to be slow mo so that, like when it bounces off the rim. Yeah, how's that? What we did is we sped it back up. Yeah, you get the rim shot there. Oh, yeah. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Slow-mo, and then once it's gone a little bit. Yeah, that sounds better. Put it back up to full speed after about a second there. How's that? Yeah, that's a good effect. I like that. Let's try it right here. Coming in for the shot. He shoots. He scores. The crowd goes wild. All right, I'm liking this thing. So the Gravitrax marbles do kind of work on it. They fit through. That's the cool thing. You see, this is this toy just has the uh, speaker battery compartment covers. Hmm. So I'm wondering what's the best way to integrate this into Gravitrax. We could put it all back together and maybe stick it up on a tower. But you know what? If this speaker comes out. And if we can get these batteries out, it would take up a whole lot less room. So why don't we try some, try that? We'll um, see if we can't fit everything into one of these base tiles and just put the basketball goal on top. How does that sound? So let's try prying this speaker out. I don't think it's glued in. Yeah, it's coming. Looks like just a little bit more. Yeah, it just pops right out. Okay. So that's the speaker. And all the electronics are in the backboard, and that's just the battery compartment. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here. There's get to fit in there. Tell you what, maybe I'm, I'm just going to have to cut it out. I'm just going to take a knife. This is real thin plastic, so there we go. Yeah, that's a lot more compact. Let's see if we can fit this in. Oh, the speaker, look, like that, that fits exactly on the base. That's a good size. It's like it was made for Gravitrax. Yeah, I'll just put it in there like that. Oh, that battery compartment, that's too big. That is not... I don't know. That wouldn't even fit by itself. It's too thick. You know, maybe what we'll do is we'll uh, just leave the battery batteries outside. You know, maybe just trail in behind and put the speaker inside. Kind of like that. That would be pretty compact. And we put the speaker there facing down in the bottom. Tell you what, I think hot glue is the perfect thing for this. We'll just hot glue that into there, the speaker in the bottom. So let's try this. Okay, I cut out the uh, battery compartment and I also cut the top a little shorter and I'm just gonna hot glue that on top. And if I have to replace the batteries, I'll just pry it off. When you only spend five dollars on a toy, you can uh, risk ruining it by trying these mods out. All right, just kind of glue that in place. That looks a little better. 
All right, I'm gonna hot glue this speaker into the bottom now. I think that'll fit really well there. Let's see if it'll work. And this thing's plenty loud that it, we should be able to hear it no matter where the speaker is pointing, up, down, whatever. Yeah, it fits pretty well. All right, now we gotta figure out these wires. Obviously that battery compartment will not fit, so how do we do this? Untwist the wires. And tell you what, why don't we make them go out the back slot, kinda of like that? That looks pretty good. All right, let's just uh, put a couple, couple beads of hot glue Glue it on top of our tile. Something like that. Not bad. All right, let's check it out. We've got our completed mod done. Now we don't have to have it so high up to hide everything. Just have a little battery compartment trailing behind that can be tucked anywhere. And let's see if it works. Yes, success. Okay, thanks for watching today's Dollar Store Gravitrax Mods Edition, where we took a basketball thumb toy and turned it into a Gravitrax basketball hoop expansion with lights and sound for only $5. The mod was really simple. It took only a small, Phillips screwdriver, a utility knife, and some hot glue. So it's a mod that you can do. Even though this is not a true dollar store item, the toy is cheap enough and the results are good enough that I wanted to let you guys know that this is a pretty cool way to get yourself a basketball hoop for Gravitrax. I'll leave some links in the description to some places online where I think you can buy this. Um, I got mine at a novelty store, a toy store on vacation, so I'll try to give you some online links and uh, if you want to do this mod yourself. Stay tuned for other mods and dollar store item ideas that you can add to your Gravitrax layouts. Take care. We'll see you next time.